very excited to, to introduce the new wireless compact unit, WCU4, uh, at this uh, IBC show. Um, we took a lot of, took a lot of our brain resources to, to develop this, and this is a compact unit, a three-axis uh, lens control system, um, which has many new features. It um, has a new focus knob, new design focus knob, which is very smooth with a adjustable friction. Um, as you see, that focus knob is also backlit, so you see it very well in, in the dark. Um, it has an advanced iris slider, which has its uh, scale on the screen, which is, by the way, a transflective screen, so you see it even in the bright sunlight, you can read uh, the markings very well. Um, the zoom knob is integrated inside the handle and um, provides very comfortable uh, zooming. Um, and as you can see, it has an integrated lens data display. So you see all that lens information on your hand unit. Um, one very new feature, which is not in any brochure yet or in any, any um, technical paper that we have distributed, is the vibration marks. Um, we didn't do that because it was confirmed the last minute that it worked the way we were thinking it could work. So you can put focus marks, for example, on that hand unit, and once you are riding over that mark with your, with your focus knob, the unit will vibrate and you will feel the mark without having to look at the hand unit. With a further software update, it will be possible to control the Alexa camera with the hand unit, so you can set up shutter, angle, frame rate, exposure index, and so on with that hand unit. Um, there's a user programmable button underneath the handle of the unit that can be used for zoom zap or for um, setting focus marks, for example. There are various mounting points on the unit, as you can see on the image. Uh, we will provide brackets for mini monitors, for things like iPod Touch, for example. As you know, we are working on an iOS SDK for the camera, so it will be possible one day to get metadata on an iPod Touch, for example. You can very well see them then there. Um, the unit can be used in cabled operation. It is compatible with all the motor controllers that are equipped with the white-coded radio modem. Um, and it's also compatible with the Preston focus rings. Um, you don't need any cables anymore to update the software of that WCU4. We have built an SD card slot into the unit, so you can very comfortably um, perform updates through the SD card, you can also save your personalized settings of the unit onto the SD card. And once you rent, for example, another unit anywhere in the world, you can use your card to load those settings and have your personalized, personalized uh, unit again. Um, the, the unit became very lightweight. It's 50 gram lighter than, uh, than the WCO3. And, um, well, that's it. Uh, it's, it's available for list price of 5,950 euros um, in February 2013. We have several marketing materials on our website for that. And um, that's my part for that. Um, I was so excited about that unit that I somehow jumped over the CLM4 motor um, I don't know how that happened now. Uh, that's a new controlled lens motor, CLM4, um, which is also new at that show. It's a very affordable and flexible motor. It's um, priced at 2,100 euros. Um, it comes with four different gearings in the basic set. Um, it has various mounting options, um, as you can see here. So you have rod-to-rod -rod mounting options and a rosette mounting option. And this will be available in November 2012. Now I'm really finished and give back to Mark. Okay. Thank you very much. Hello, good morning. I'm Thorsten Meinwald, the product manager for Lenses at ARI. And uh, well, uh, now we don't have motors, uh, we don't have electronics, uh, we have uh, something completely different. It's just glass, but uh, a new piece of glass. It's uh, anamorphics, and uh, well, you know, we have the cameras, the three 4x3 three cameras. It's the studio, it's the plus uh, 4x3, and it's uh, also the M camera. And of course, uh, we need to complete that also with uh, master anamorphic lenses. That's the name of the new lenses. It's a complete Lead set are from 35 millimeter up to 135 millimeter, and uh, we are doing this in cooperation with Carl Zeiss. Uh, well, the usual thing, and what we have done also with uh, the ultra primes and.
and the master primes, and before that with the standards and uh, the high speeds. And uh, well, what are uh, the key benefits uh, from the new master anamorphics? Seven lenses, all they have T1.9. And the first time these anamorphics are completely designed new from the scratch for digital cameras. Of course, they work also with analog cameras, but um, well, they are optimized for the Alexa sensors and give you the best overall image quality with our Alexa cameras. And uh, with this uh, kind of lenses, uh, we put uh, well some new efforts in. These lenses, they have virtually no precinct like the master primes, but these are anamorphic lenses. They have not uh, the so-called fat face effect, which, uh, which is called anamorphic mumps, and uh, which was uh, very uh, challenging for us. We have done a completely new focusing mechanism. Why that? An anamorphic lens is in fact two lenses in one barrel. If you have, for example, a 50 millimeter lens, it's 50 millimeter vertically and horizontally it's 25 millimeter. Normally, if you compare these two lenses, separate lenses, you have a different uh, travel of focus and it's very challenging to combine this in one lens barrel. And uh, we put this uh, in one lens barrel and found a solution. It's uh, the technology of a zoom lens. It's floating elements. Well, in optics, we are saying, well, it's everything what is good and, well, sometimes also expensive. What else? Well, with anamorphics, uh, it's very important that you have the right anamorphic look. And uh, the outer focus highlights, they are quite important. And uh, in, with spherical lenses, you know, you get round shaped outer focus highlights. With anamorphics, you get oval outer focus highlights. And these ovals, they should be perfect. We don't like to see any edges in these ovals, and that was the reason for us to design a new aperture with 15 aperture plates. These lenses, they carry also the lens data system, also for future lenses. The LDS system will be a standard for all future lenses, so you can use this information about aperture and focus uh, position for VFX work. Well, this is the complete range of uh, the master anamorphics. Seven lenses, 35, 40, 50, 60, 75, 100, and 135. All they have T1.9. They are quite compact. Most of the lenses, they have a front diameter of only 95 millimeter. The weight is below three kilogram. Well, at this IBC, you know, we release all the relevant information, the technical information we are showing at our booth, the 50 millimeter prototype, the 35 millimeter mock-up, and at NAB 2013, we are starting delivery of three lenses, the 35, 50, and also the 75, and the rest of the lenses, they will come later that year. Price, around 30,000 euro for each of the lenses. I think it's uh, quite a good price uh, for an anamorphic lens. And, uh, well, we are very, very excited and we got uh, quite a good feedback from DPs worldwide. And they are so excited to use the lenses and uh, we have a long list of people waiting saying, well, we want to test that, we want to shoot with these lenses. And, uh, well, this year with the anamorphics, uh, it's not only a new lens series uh, what we are introducing, it's also which is also very important for us, the 75th anniversary of Ari and Carl Zeiss. We have done so many exciting things in the last decades, and I think it's also, well, a landmark in optics that we have created these anamorphic lenses for this year, which is also the same time, the 95th anniversary of Ari. Thank you very much, and uh, I'm giving over to, I think, Philip Fischer. <laughs>